can we can we score a run, please? Can we please score a run? Oh, and by the way, the starting pitching that we have to trade away because we have so much of it is a mess. That and more next year on the Texas Rangers Clubhouse. <music> Hey everybody, my name is Jeff Bates, the Texas Rangers Clubhouse, where we talk about all the extra starting pitching we have. And oh, by the way, who the heck's pitching tomorrow? Who the heck's pitching the next day? Evaldi the day after that. We got Boston coming in. Let's talk about that and more right now. We're in third place. Four and a half games out of first place. Why? Because Seattle and Houston are not very good either. 52 and 57. Five out of the last 10, we have won. Playing 500 ball in the last 10. We've got Boston, who's 57 and 50. They've won four out of their last 10. They're not playing great. We're not playing great. They're good. I think we're good. Maybe I'm just wrong. Playoff odds from Fangraphs. Boston's got a 38%, 38% chance. Easy for me to say to make the playoffs. We're down at 10%. We need to do something with this lineup. I don't know. Maybe I'll do a whole video on it. I've got my ideas on a lineup. No, let me just tell you what I would do. Bochi's got to do something, right? I'm not saying Bochi's going to do this, and I'm not saying I know more than Bochi. Bochi knows more than me, but here's what I would do. I would lead off Langford, then I'd go Simeon and Seeger. I'd put Young, Adolis, and Nate, four, five, six. I would go Kelly or Heim, but Kelly for the next couple games. Josh Smith in the eight spot, Zeke. Out in left field. That's what I would do. Why? Why it runs like the wind. He puts the ball in play a lot. He hustles. He takes a couple pitches compared to our other guys, at least, right? Simeon, I've always thought was a two hole guy. Seeger is a three hole guy. Josh Young, put him in the four spot. I, you can't drop Dolly. We need Dolly to get going, but you can't drop him too much. If he gets going, we need him. We, we go if he goes. We don't if he doesn't. So that's what I would do. I'd try Lankford at the top. Simeon, Seeger, Young, Dolly, Nate. Kelly Heim, Smith, or Zeke. That's what I would do. Let me know what you think. Maybe I'm crazy. I was going to do a whole video on that, but I'm not Bochi. Bochi's forgotten more about baseball than I know. Bochi will do the, the best thing for the Rangers, but we got to do something. We got to shake it up, right? Let me know what you think about that. Our upcoming schedule is a beast. We got Boston, then we got Houston. We got the Yankees, then we got Boston, then we got Minnesota, then we got Pittsburgh, who's good now, by the way, and then we got Cleveland. It gets way easier after that, but we are either in first place at the end of that or we're done-zo, man. We are done-zo. And I, I, look, I hope when you think of me and you think of my channel, you think of, hey, that's the guy who's overly positive. I want to be the positive guy. I believe I'm the positive guy. Keep the faith. George Michael fan. Gotta have faith. I want to believe, and I do believe, that this team is way better than the offense is showing. All of that said... I'm not feeling it, man. I am not feeling it. This Boston series scares me. We in heap big trouble if we can't start getting some runs on the board. Let's talk about the pitching matchups, which are a mess. Friday, 7 p.m. start, Jose Urena. I tweeted out to even Evan Grant. He responded. He didn't know yet, but it'd probably be Jose Urena. It looks like it is Jose Urena. Jose Urena, who has been pitching great, who's been pitching great, but he is not pitching. Why? Because Michael Lorenzen is in Kansas City or wherever the Royals are playing right now. Look, I'm going to do a video on why they traded Lorenzen. And I actually really like the reason that I think is the reason we traded Lorenzen. Watch for that video if I get to it. But I would have just kept him, man. I really like him. I think he's pitched well. Certainly he hasn't been great the last couple starts. Couldn't even get out of the first inning last time. But I think he's a quality pitcher. I thought he was really good for us all year. And, oh, it's his turn, and we've got Jose Urena now again. Jose Urena has been great. So has Cutter Crawford. 3.60 ERA for him. That's a good matchup if Urena is as good as we have seen him so far. Saturday, 6 p.m., Tanner Houck, who has been really, 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 really good, and he seems like a real nice guy, versus we have no idea. We have no idea. Probably Bradford and Dunning, right? It's a bullpen day, right? So... How many innings are we going to get out of Urena? Five? Six? Would six, six would be awesome, right? And then we're going to go Bradford three or four, Dunning three or four. We need one of these two games to really let the bullpen off the hook. Maybe it's the Saturday game. Maybe Bradford goes five and Dunning goes four. Maybe we get to how can we can get a big fat win there. We can't have the bullpen throwing 14 innings every time. And then Sunday, 135, we got there Nick Pavetta versus our big game, Nate Evaldi. So let me say it 
easier to understand for them. Cutter Crawford, Tanner Houck, Nick Pavetta. For us, Urena, probably Bradford and Dunning, a hybrid between those two, and then Nate Evaldi. I say it again. I wish we had Michael Lorenzen. I wish we had John Gray. John Gray got hurt. We traded away Michael Lorenzen. The bullpen's going to be needed. And good thing we've got the new guy, right? The crazy guy. I'm a big fan of what this, this move. I'm a big fan of this pitcher. I've wanted him for a long time. Really, really happy with the pickup of Andrew Chapin. I'm guessing he'll be pitching a couple times in this series. And my predictions for this series, well, you could go to the Pesky Podcast. You can actually see it on my channel. I would say go to their channel. Give them some love. You could have watched it live on Twitter. I think they keep their replays on Twitter. I'm not really sure about that, to be honest with you. And it'll be a podcast over on the Pesky Podcast where you consume all your podcasts. Go to their YouTube channel. Subscribe to their channel. Go to their Twitter subscribe or follow their Twitter. Give them some love. Let them know I sent you. They've been nice guys. I've been on the show a couple times. I'll be on the show again when we have a series against them in a couple weeks. <sighs> what I said to them is what I will say to you now. I am not confident about this series. We can't get swept. We've got to win the series. I'm going to say we take one out of three and that's me. I'm the confident guy, right? Maybe I'm not the confident guy. I'm not feeling like the confident guy. I'm feeling like the guy who does not believe we can score any runs right now. Josh Young is back. We've got to score runs. Langford, Simeon, Seeger, Josh Young, Nate Lowe. You know, we've got Carson Kelly now behind the plate. I love Jonah Heim. Jonah Heim is our starter, but he's going to take a couple days off, it sounds like to me. They've got to get him rejuvenated. I agree with this. They should give him a week off. They should just let him. He's a big, huge guy. He's a year and a half now of catching a lot of innings, a lot of games. Let Carson Kelly get a couple games under his belt. Maybe we get a little lightning in the bottle there, but we need to get Jonah Heim back to where he was, and he won't be if we have him catching 162 games a year. We got to get going. We got to get going. We got to get going. I'm going to say it right now. Josh Young, Dolly Garcia. Josh Young, because we haven't had him all year. He got hurt. Dolly Garcia, because oh, he's got to be last year's Dolly Garcia if we're going to go anywhere. Right? Right? What say you? Who do you think is the key? I'm going to say it. I think it's Josh Young. And I think it's Dolly Garcia. The starting pitching will come around. By the way, the start for Urena will be his the last time through the rotation, likely, that we don't have Tyler Maley. The next time around, it'll probably be Tyler Maley, who was a top 30 pitcher in all of baseball in 2020. Let's see how he does for us. And then we, maybe we get to Grom in a couple, two, three, four weeks. But could it turn around? Yes, it could. Will it turn around? That's up to one thing and one thing only. The offense. Our bullpen is solid, especially at the back end. Our starting pitching will be solid again this week. I'm very, very concerned. It's the offense. It's the offense. It's the offense. What say you? Let me know. Am I am I just did I bring you down? Maybe I'm just grumpy today. I'm, my my confidence on the Red Sox series is is low. It's really low. It's really low. Yeah, that's it. I'll see you on the next one. I don't love being so negative, but I'm just not feeling it. I hope I'm wrong. This Red Sox series scares me. It scares me a lot. Please subscribe to my channel where I'm normally more happy and positive than this. Get some wins, Rangers. Prove me wrong. Let's get this rolling. Let's take the AL West and let's subscribe to my channel for more of this.